Today we are on the search for guide hike. We are here on the Seneca River. We came on to this branch of the river off of the Onondaga Lake. We searched one side of Onondaga Lake so far. We've gone up the Seneca River to the right and searched around the 380 bridge. And now we're making our way up to where Guy's family member lived off of Van Ness Drive. Right behind me, you can't necessarily see it, but there is uh, uh, not very wide patch of woods. You can see some houses, uh, railroad track, and then Van Ness. So we are going all the way down Van Ness. Um, his family member lived at that end. We're going to go probably down towards Empire Polymer, uh, just so that way we have a good stopping point and we know that we've covered everything and we did enter the water here. So we do have Todd fishing grub with us. Howdy. He is joining us on this uh, for a, a good portion of the trip. Todd's channel is uh, based around uh, different kind of uh, fishing and angling. Todd has been incredibly gracious in the past to take Jacob and I out fishing. Uh, and now this uh, next few weeks, he's going to be joining us. Todd is also uh, an incredible free diver. So Todd is ready to jump in the water at any given moment. Um, so that would be beneficial for us. I am sick right now, so I'm unable to dive. So Jacob is our only diver. I don't know if Maverick's going to be doing much diving. Uh, also this week we will have, uh, we have Jennifer with us, who is the granddaughter of Guy. Jennifer, how old were you when your grandpa went missing? 18. 18. So you had your whole childhood with him, and then one day he's just gone. And I know that there have been some searches in the past, so we're taking everything that we've, all of the knowledge that we've gained from all of the searches in the past, from all of the casework from all of the detectives who have ever worked the case, we have access to all of that now, uh, thanks to you, you know, really pushing that and making sure we have that. So now we really can narrow spots down. I do think that we have a good game plan in place. I think the places that we want to search, there's a lot of purpose behind them. You know, we've talked with you, or you know, spoken with you about uh, different areas. Tell us a little bit about your grandpa and the time that you went missing. He, he had told your grandma that he was going somewhere, but didn't end up in that spot. He told her he was going to visit his cousin in Watertown. Um, he did end up in her driveway, but never got out of his vehicle. Backed out and heading north. And that's the last. That's the last. And back then, in, it was 1999, um, and he went missing in a 1989 Chevy Blazer, but there weren't cell phones yep. on Star. Um, you know, now most businesses have um, ridiculous amounts of surveillance ring cameras, you know, everything is recorded nowadays and right. back then it wasn't an option. So we really are kind of not going into it blind because we do have a lot of information, but we don't necessarily have a start point other than where he was last seen. Right. Um, so again, I do feel like we have a good game plan for the week. We've, we've spoken about it, you know, for the last few weeks and then again today. Um, you know, going back over everything, making sure, okay, yeah, we're still, we're still on the same page as far as where we want to search and why, you know, um, and then you'll be able to join us, you know, for the week, so, you know, hopefully, you know, obviously finding your grandpa is our, is our ultimate goal, um, but if not, I think that we are knocking out some big questions for you now, family. A lot of big questionable areas. This is that your grandma had concerns for uh, before she passed away. So hopefully, you know, by the end of this, we can at least have that kind of that relief for you. So um, again, thank you for allowing us to be here. Thank you for everything that you've done for us and now with information and, and your support. So thank you. Hopefully, we uh, find some answers. So search in Seneca River over there by the um, location of the family member. We didn't see anything. Uh, we did find a boat out in the middle, but other than that, 
you didn't find anything. This is getting really super shallow, isn't it? The other side is like deep. Um, so we're in about six feet of water now, going on the back side of the turn off Seneca, Seneca Lake River. Seneca River. From there, we're gonna search the rest of Onondaga Lake. And then from there, tomorrow, we're going to go to Oneida and search, there's a couple creeks. No, there's one creek and then a beach area that we're gonna search and on 81. Um, with that, I think we're also gonna do, there's another river there, right? Oneida River. The Oneida River up towards Brewerton. Yeah. Up towards Brewerton. Um, and, and that'll be for tomorrow, but we're gonna finish this off the Onondaga Lake is pretty decently sized, but from what I've what I've seen, we've gotten out far enough that everything's been searched. So I'm I'm going to say on the side who that we have searched, there's nothing there. We're going to go to the other, except for the shipwrecks. Uh, we did find one of the shipwrecks that was 1800s. I don't think we got a video of it, did we? Look at all those logs. They cut timber through here. So yeah, anyway, we'll uh, keep you informed. We have pretty much went all the way around Oneida Lake. Onondaga. Gosh darn it. Onondaga. <laughs> Onondaga Lake. And I didn't see anything. Uh, we did see some few ships and stuff like that. We're going to head to the one you said. The Oneida <laughs> tomorrow. And then we're going to search a couple other spots. Be sure, be sure to check out Fishing Rubs. Link will be in the description. Thank you all for your support. What you guys do for us is amazing. We've got us up here to search and to try to bring home Kai Pike. Today we're not successful, but it's always tomorrow and it's going to be all week. So that's how we're stopping. finally made our way over to Sylvan Beach. We did do Fish Creek, um, down to the boat ramp, and then down another tributary. Um, we're at Sylvan Beach right now. This area is, it's, one, it's full of people right now. Um, it was um, pretty shallow, closer to um, right when you're coming up to the beach, so we are out a little bit farther. We are gonna go down um, a little bit farther than past the beach just because back in the 90s uh, I'm not quite sure of the accessibility to this area but again um, they did have family family vacations reunions things like that here um, people did see um, Mr. Pike you know around the area so we definitely wanted to check this out as soon as we're done with this then we are going to haul across the lake all the way to the other end cover 1181 where they cross over the lake as well as go down into the Oneida River a little bit um, just to you know clear some of that those access points as well so we are going to uh, continue down the beach here and then make our way down there and then we'll be done with today and then we're moving farther up north uh, tomorrow we'll be heading uh, Mexico New York area as well as Oswego River and the mouth where it leads out into Lake Ontario. Um, again, we do have Todd with Fish and Grubs with us. Todd is more than ready to get into the water, should we need him to. I'm well, ready to get him right now. <laughs> well, yeah, he's, he's, he's ready got right hot. now. Um, but Todd <laughs> is an incredible free diver, so should we have something, you know, 20 feet or less, Todd's all about jumping in right away for us. Um, check out Todd's channel. A lot of his stuff revolves around um, fishing and van life. Uh, Todd, you're in the process of moving fully into the van. Yeah, moving fully into it. This um, is a good test. Creating your own space for it. Mm -hmm. um, building a lot of internal stuff for it. So uh, definitely check out Todd's channel. Um, we again do have Jennifer, who's the granddaughter of Guy. She is with us for the duration. She's been with us all week. Jennifer, how do you feel about yesterday and today, seeing the sonar, seeing everything. How do you feel about everything that's happened so far? I know we're only a day and a half in. <coughs> it's good knowing, you know, Onondaga Lake in particular, like I drive by every single day. Yeah. He's not in there. Right. So that probably eases your mind a little bit. Um, a lot of our focus, um, 
Onondaga was a was a big point of interest for us. Um, Oneida, not so much. It's just this general area right. that we wanted to check. Moving up north, when we check Mexico, um, when we check up near Muscalunge Lake, those uh, those lakes up in that area, and then moving up farther into the St. Lawrence River, that is more kind of where we're looking at. Um, but we didn't want to zigzag all over, so we are moving from south to north. Um, and if it does happen to where we do not find him, we'll definitely be back. There is not not a lack of water around here, so <laughs> that is for we sure. have a ton to search in the area. Um, this trip was definitely getting out of the way. Um, places that have your family had concerns about over the last 24 years, um, places you had concern about. Um, your grandmother, even though she's no longer with us, it's so important for you to get those off your mind and, and your heart because those were important to her. So, in the event that we don't find him, we'll be back. So, you're stuck with us now. That's okay. <laughs> I'm in it for the long haul. So are we. We're here with you. So, good. We're going to uh, finish up searching Sylvan Beach and then head on down to the other end of Oneida Lake. So, we're searching. We already searched this, but there's a boat ramp right at the end of that red line. Search that. We went in here, searched this bridge. Nothing in here. We're going to go out, search this area right around in here. And then we're going to head all the way back. To that corner up into that creek. Way right there. Because there's 81 and 11. That could be a main road coming back from Onondaga Lake. Check that out too. Todd, how was that? <laughs> Fantastic. Water feel good? Starting to get muggy. The water's at 78. Beautiful. It feels better than on the boat. <laughs> yeah. That was perfect. Brewerton area. John is on the uh, north side of Lake Oneida. There's a bridge, it's 81 and 11. Um, looks like there's, goes into, what creek is that? Oneida, the Oneida River. Oneida. The Oneida River. So we're gonna search all this, search this roadway. There's a lot of grass. Search this roadway here, go around, search around this marina, and head down into the river. Check out the spots, see if there's any vehicles in here. I don't think we're gonna find anything in this area because I'm looking at grass right now. This grass is ridiculous. So this is 81. The next bridge down is 11. Into Brewerton, which she had family members there as well. Yes, his sister lived on this river. Okay. To the grass line, boom, boom. Just okay. it's so crazy. Is that what used to be her house? Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I knew we wanted to search over the Brewerton area because that was where the crazy cousin was.
look at here's all the anchors for them stocks. The mooring blocks, but I really think that's all debris. All right, guys, we are in Little Philadelphia. I'm sorry, just Philadelphia. We are going to be searching this little area. Um, prior searches, the kids were saying that they were there were vehicles in here, but nobody searched it. So it took us a while to get to, well, not really a while, did it? No, we did that pretty quick for what it is. Uh, so I got, the, launch. I got the boat into the launch here. We're gonna go down this pretty much creek here and uh, see if there's any vehicles in there. If there is, then we'll dive them and get them searched. So, wish us luck. It's right behind the VFW is where we put in, right? Right behind the VFW, so, in the town clerk or whatever. So thanks. Town office. Thanks uh, to the VFW for allowing us to launch. And Philadelphia, baby. We'll get this search. All right, so far nothing, but at least we got in here we're able to search this we'll get this searched and then uh we'll head on out the issue that we had was uh, the black river was too too uh it was raging it was raging like white water kayaking raging it was bad so we're just going to uh get this all checked out and go to the next spot left Lindsay and and Maverick and Jennifer. in the RV and Jennifer so we're just gonna get this search real quick and get out of here what's my speed 3.9 okay in here but we didn't want to be here this is like the end of where we were going to search this is what we wanted to search we're pretty much going further up the Indian Creek is this Indian River or Indian Creek I mean I guess it really doesn't matter but there's really nothing yeah Nothing in here. Indian River. Indian River. Nothing in Indian River by the road. Nothing in here. A concern to me anyway. I <clears throat> see a couple logs, laid downs. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Looks like some <clears throat> good fishing. Oh, really good fishing. I'd say really good bass fishing in here. Uh, the little kid that was using the bait caster said that they were pike in here and stuff like that so basically this is just a little creek put the big boat in surprisingly how uh how hard was it to i mean obviously i made it look a little easier but how uh tight was it that was insane <laughs> me and that little kid were just sitting there like damn <laughs> damn I was too. You know, that's just a little like piece of metal of some sort just kind of folded over. Oh crap. No. So quite impressive of how deep it is. Nine feet still. We're going down. The road is on the left and I think on the right of this. There's a lot of a lot of foliage, so uh, I don't know if it would be worth us going up any further, but we're going to try something anyway. Here's where we're at so far. And we started way down here. Or, no, I'm sorry. So that's where we started. But we went down here and searched around here. Now we're going to go all the way up. This little railroad crossing thing here, this is pretty much where the creek is. But it goes up and around and does all this little number all the way up 11 which you can't see it but that's 11 so 
definitely going to get things searched. We're still on the Indian River. The Indian River runs parallel with Route 11. Route 11 was that he went north on Route 11. So we're following this creek all the way up to Antwerp. Um, I think that's how you say it, right? Antwerp? Who cares? Well, regardless, it's an ant word. It's an ant work. <laughs> um, so we've got enough clearance. I think we're just going to head on up and, and continue to search. Um, very rural area, and I think um, I think we stand a big chance of finding either him or some something here, because we're still at 15 feet, dude. 15 right. feet. 15 feet in this little creek. So yeah, we're going to continue to go That's up. Why it's not a creek; it's a river. Well, it is a river, <laughs> but it's kind of an odd river. It is wild. So, uh, all right, just continue to go up. So while we're going through here and looking for vehicles, there's a campground up there. It's right off the side of the road. So, I mean, this just goes to show you, like, the road's right there. This just goes to show you that this is not a waste of time. Um, I really think that this is a good search. See, oh, oh. Yep, there's yep. the road. There's the road. Um, very, very highly possibility that we could find something in here. I hope. This is the end of our road. There is a bridge here. We can't make it past it. But guys, it was 22 feet. In this little area so we're gonna we're gonna search this spot and see if we see anything in here but wow it's crazy I kept on getting a weird shadow over here in this corner here so we're gonna get the uh, live scope out and uh, check out this corner here all right now twist it a little bit is that a rock yeah it's a rock okay Jacob still managing to to fall. Eight feet. Guys, we're now uh, on the other side of the bridge that uh, Jacob and I stopped, not stopped on. This is So where we're at, it's on the, it's just like a turnoff, um, semi-turnoff. It used to be old Route 11. So old Route 11 snakes back in there, and this Indian River still continues on. We had to stop up by the John Bridge because we couldn't get through there. Now we're gonna start and search this little area right here. Go back up around the corner, go down the old Route 11, and then search that where the bridge is. It actually needs to be searched from that point all the way down to the bridge, but we don't have our inflatable with us, so we can't get all of it searched. We'll get it done sooner or later. Did you already hit record? Uh, I didn't hit record on this because there's no part in it. I'm in on your phone. I didn't hit record, no. Get the screen, uh, whatever. Right? Ah. It records to its own app. Oh, even better. Yeah. So, uh. Chaos at all points. Running. 
When it's moving. <laughs> right here, Jacob. God, just stay here. <laughs> Do you want to watch that while you? Yeah, I'm good. All right. <laughs> now you need me. Yeah. Go up the bushes. All right. No vehicles there. We've got those two pillars down there. Then we can hit where that is broken down right here. Right? But we'll be able to, because the phone has to have a clear line of sight. Yeah. So as yeah, long we as- We should be able to walk with the phone all the way, like not that much further up, but like up there a little bit. Where the- Where the thing's broken. Yeah, but this thing's also made to take a ton of abuse. That's pretty far down there. That's pretty amazing to be able to do that. What? The, oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I mean, pretty. The phone's in it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yes. And that's the spot where somebody could be like, "Hey, we need to check this," and we couldn't get to it. Oh yeah. But now look at us. Yeah. Yeah. Now look at us. You yeah. should see your backside. Now look at us. Guys. <laughs> no jerky involved. None. <laughs> All the uh, places that we can search are searched. Um, if it all fails or boils down to it, next time we're up here, we'll bring the inflatable and I'll start on one end and travel all the way up in the inflatable. The Scout 430 inflatable. Day four of our search for Guy Pike. Um, up to this point, we have cleared the Onondaga River as well as the, or excuse me, Onondaga Lake, the Seneca River. We have also done Oneida and then the Oneida River. Um, we did have plans to search um, around Mexico, New York, as well as out into Lake Ontario. 
We were going to do that yesterday. Unfortunately, the weather had other plans for us. Um, so instead, we ended up going up and clearing a lot of the Indian River up in and around Watertown. Uh, we also wanted to search Black River, but because of the rain, that river was just moving. There was no way, uh, rapids all the way down through it. Um, so we moved up here to the uh, St. Lawrence River. We're currently in Cape Vincent. We're heading out towards Lake Ontario right now, um, but our main focus is going to be from Cape Vincent down to Collins Landing. And the reason for that is 12E, which is the route that Mr. Pike would have taken, goes all the way down the coastline right here along the St. Lawrence River. Um, there's a lot of, um, can't necessarily see it right now with the houses behind me, but there's a lot of places that are super accessible to the river where uh, no fences, no gates, no anything like that, where you can just drive off into the river. Um, Mr. Pike did not like to take highways, anything like that. So um, he would have taken 12E from the Watertown area all the way up down the coastline and across into Canada, um, down around Collins Landing. So that's why we want to focus down there as well too. We do have a lot of river to cover. I'm going to say over 20 miles today. Um, the wind right now is not um, a benefit to us. So we will, um, you know, we will be fighting that. We do feel confident, you know, in, in scanning, um, especially, you know, closer to the shoreline, we will be able to get clear scans. If we see something, it may be a little construed, but we'll still be able to see that there isn't an anomaly in the water and that we will be able to get it marked. Um, Jacob has all of his dive gear on the boat, ready to go. Todd is also ready to dive if he needs to. Um, I currently can't. Um, due to, I can't clear my ears because I'm sick right now. Um, but again, so put in at Cape Vincent, um, just kind of skinning out towards Lake Ontario, just a little bit, um, and then in towards Collins Landing where the bridge crosses over, 81 crosses over into Canada. Um, Mr. Pike's plates were never seen going into Canada at the time of his disappearance, but they said that, you know, that's about 85 to 90% accurate. So there always is that small chance that he did make it into Canada, but we do want to check this area. Um, and then tomorrow, all the wind dies down and we'll be heading back to Mexico, New York, um, doing that, that area. I think it's the Little Salmon River and then out onto Lake Ontario. So. Um, Go ahead. Jacob's already in there scanning. Uh, we do have Jennifer with us. Fishing Grubs is with us again today. Um, if you haven't checked out his channel, please, please do. Super phenomenal guy. Um, just salt of the earth. Amazing. Absolutely adore Todd. Um, do anything for you. He's been such a help. Todd works on boats professionally. So, you know, just little things like him helping us tie up to the dock and stuff. is It's, it's the little things that matter. And, and Todd is... I've been amazing. He was amazing yesterday with a little buddy carrying everything, pulling Jacob out of the river, um, holding on to Jacob so he didn't fall deeper into the river. So, um, again, check out his channel, Fishing Grubs. Um, it'll be linked below in the description as well as uh, we'll have Jacob throw it up right in here somewhere as well. Um, but please check out Todd. Um, if you have any information or if you have an idea on where Mr. Pike could be or if you saw his vehicle around that time or you saw him, please reach out to us. Reach out to his granddaughter, Jennifer, um, anything, local police, anything like that. We just want to find him. We want to bring him home. Jennifer's been searching for 24 years now. Um, I can't imagine, you know, how hard that is. So again let's get started we're heading out just a little bit um out towards lake ontario and then we are going to be moving back in towards collins landing so So this is kind of what we are thinking, um, you know, kind of what we're looking for is these cliff areas. Uh, Mr. Pike had spoken kind of throughout the years um, about, you know, the areas that had the cliffs and how beautiful they were. You know, if he ever, you know, this is the way he wanted to go, you know, was in these areas. Um, so that's know was our main focus in coming to the St. Lawrence River and um, once we got through some of those smaller towns up near Cape Vincent this whole area is 
these cliffs. Um, so we do want to focus on searching in these areas. Uh, you can see some of the rocks and stuff. I mean, this water, um, it's so, so clear. Um, you guys can see the rocks through the water, um, down into the water. Um, we're still like 20 feet deep and we can see down to the bottom, so. So this is the bridge that crosses over from the U.S. Um, over to Canada. This is definitely one of the spots that we wanted to check in and around this bridge just because if Mr. Pike had left um, the, the calcium Watertown area and wanted to come up to Canada, this would have been the closest bridge to where he could have accessed it to. So uh, definitely wanted to search this. Just to clear it all out. Right, ladies and gents. Can you talk to the camera? 
I'm done now. Check it out on the Canada, Canadian side. Yeah, I think. coming over to Canada. <clears throat> Water's super clear. So if there's anything in there, they probably would have seen them, but there's spots in there where there's cliffs. It runs right, right down Route 12. The possibility could have been there. So thank you guys for your support. Appreciate each and every one of you. Um, check out Todd if you haven't at Fishing Grubs. And um, Guys, we're going to continue to search for Guide Pike tomorrow. We're going to go to Mexico and uh, Little Texas area. Search that. The winds should be died down by then. And uh, Are we going to get that other spot too tomorrow? Oswego? The mouth? Yeah, depending on how, depending depending how Mexico goes. Depending on how Mexico goes and depending on the, the wind, yeah, we should be able yeah. to. Dope. So, anyway, again, like I said, appreciate each and every one of you. Keep diving. It's not where to stop. And uh, we're still not going to be over with. We still got another day. And so today we are back out here uh, searching for guide pike. Our main focus today is Black River Bay. Uh, so right now we just came around what they call Gilmore Point, coming into Black River Bay. This right here behind me is called Sackett Harbor uh, Battlefield State Park. Uh, there are cliffs right here, which do kind of align with, you know, some ideations that Mr. Pike had kind of throughout his whole life. Um, and then there is a road throughout here. We did see some cars sitting almost right up on the ledge. So we want to start right here instead of making our way all the way into Black River Bay. We want to start up in here, work our way down this shoreline into Black River Bay. We have not been on the Black River yet. The reason for that is because we got uh, copious amounts of rain which made the Black River just move. Uh, that's not safe for us to be on Black River. We're not even sure how close we're going to be able to get to the actual mouth. Um, if we do find something, it'll have to be something that Jacob deems whether he is able to dive it, if it's safe enough or not, just because there's so much river flow coming out of the Black River right now into Black River Bay. So again, we are going to start right in here, get this area searched, make our way down, and then also down the shoreline on the other side. Once we are done with this area, we are heading back to Mexico. We've been watching the weather and the wind reports and stuff, and starting this evening, in Mexico actually will look like glass out on Lake Ontario so we want to get that search before we leave here just because it's another huge point of contention as far as could he possibly be there he's got some history in that area so we want to make sure that we get that cover before we leave uh, from this trip um, and move on to our next case so we'll go ahead and uh, Jake's gonna get the boat turned around here and get to work
so we have made our way up into the uh, northern portion of Black River Bay. We are trying to follow, there's channel markers out there. They're really hard to see, they're really tiny because uh, the waves are being pushed into the bay from, from the lake. So a lot of the times the markers are getting uh, swelled over. So we are, again, we are making our way up into, uh, into the top of Black River Bay and that is going to put us into the mouth of the Black River where it comes out. So it may get a little rough, it may get a little crazy. Um, it's kind of gonna be like a washing machine effect. You have the waves coming in from the lake, um, but then you're gonna have all of that outpour from the river coming down from where it's rained the last few days, so. Um, we do have decent sized waves, but right now, like we're going nice and slow, so not feeling any of this, but we are, are, are in the tip of Black River Bay. See, there's one of those little buoy markers. You can hardly even see it sticking out of the water, so. Um, and just making our way up and gonna get this searched. I'm literally getting pushed out. Like a whirlwind right here. A whirlwind. Wow, why? Oh, once you get past these rocks. Dude, if I go on this, I'd be. It'll be okay, it's only nine feet. No, oh, you. Relax, this. It's like. I wouldn't dive in here, like in here, or maybe out there. In here, it's like this. Right now. Rock ripping up. Jacob. Oh, wow. I'm always spinning. There's no direction. If you look at the water, some of the water's going that way, some of it's coming this way, right? And underneath, it's doing this little deal. It just doesn't know where it wants to go. Oh yeah, you can definitely swim to the top. You just don't want to go down? No, because you'll, I'll be spun around every time I try. I wouldn't know which way was... Up and down, left, right? Oh, I can figure out which way is up and down. Can't figure out which way I'm heading. Because it would spin me around. Well, currently, we're in the, black, the mouth of the Black River. foot of water. Coming out here in this open area, I have a direction, and I'm okay with that. Not when you're. There's somewhere. Getting further into the mouth of the Black River, and you can tell because all of that water that was rushing in, or rushing in that through that river, is actually coming out here at the mouth. So it's going to get super pushy. If anything, we find something, we'll dive it at another time to where this gets a little less. Yeah. It's going to get sketchy. I don't like it. Over here? Yeah. Oh, oh. And then 17 feet. 
Oh, yeah, but it looks like it should be over here, though. This is the whole time is going to be spent fighting the current. I really think we need to do this at another time.
over there in that area is where we came from. That is Mexico Point State Park. Um, over there where you see that smokestack, um, that is actually part of Oswego. I, I know it's not a smokestack, I believe it's just steam coming out of there. Um, but we wanted to come over here and search this cliff area. Um, there's not a little Texas on any of the maps, so um, there's Texas and there's Mexico, so we're assuming kind of that there's a, you know, they just called Texas, Little Texas, that kind of thing, until we find out different. Um, Jennifer is gonna, you know, ask that family member. Um, but again, just checking any kind of cliff areas. Um, there is a little beach area, and then right after this beach, there's another um, trees and cliffs and stuff. So just gonna check all of this out through this area. We are currently going under uh, Route 3. We are back here at what I believe they call Mud Creek off of uh, Lake Ontario. Again, we came out of Mexico Point State Park up through Lake Ontario, and then we've made our way back here again. This is uh, Mud Creek. Let's show you. Route 3 right here crosses over, and it actually crosses over in two different sections. Yes. So we're coming up this way right here. We're gonna wrap back around and then go through and check underneath on this side. This over here is called Bethel Bethel Corners. Um, but again, this area that we're in is called Mud Creek. There's a very large state park over here. Um, but we are gonna make our way through here. Much, much different than being on the lake. Much different. <laughs> it's, it's quiet and it's calm. Um, Again, we have Todd with us, Fishing Grubs. Check him out. He has been ready to dive at any given moment today. Uh, we thought we had found something earlier, and Todd was, I mean, he was ready. He was jumping in. He was he was ready to go. So, but yeah, so here is Route 3. Now that we're back away from it a little bit, you guys can see the cars and everything where they're going over. Well, Todd, um, I think they're all salmon. Yeah, there's salmon in here. Yeah. Not right there. Well, no, those little little ball things that you have, those little foil things. Oilies? Oilies, that's what they use. Similar to those. They use like, like eggs. Yeah. Power bait. But I think those little inline spinners. just got off the water we are finished for right now with searching for guy pike jennifer we will be back we still have a ton of places that we want to search some places that we need to get access to to missions for so jennifer's going to be working on that on the off chance that our schedule changes around a lot and we can come back through here then we definitely will if not we'll be back we'll make sure that we get a hold of you we've probably got another I mean, we could search for months here in this area. Oh There's oh, yeah. so much water. Lakes and uh, Lake Ontario. We've got little lakes, private lakes. Uh, there's some. There's still a lot of property that your family's owned over the years that we want to have. We want to get some access to. So again, done for right now, but not done for good. We will be back to continue searching for Guy Pike. Todd, thank you for being with us this week. It's been Pleasure. amazing to have you. Um, you know, just helping out on the boat, just everything, you know, and I'm glad that you kind of got to see the water from from our side of things. Yeah, I mean, it's you work different. on the water, yeah. It's I mean, you're on the different. water all the time, and, you know, fishing is your life, but you get to see it from our side of things. Um, and spend time with a family member if somebody's missing, so it kind of yeah. gives you even a bigger perspective of... Get you bought in, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's ready to keep going. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when we come back, Todd's definitely going to be with us. 
course. Uh, for sure. I think, Todd, you even might have the ability to join us in Hartford later on this yeah. coming week. So if he can, that'd be amazing. Always love spending time with Todd. Check I out his channel. I diving in that river. Yeah, right. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> do what we gotta do. Definitely check out Todd's channel, Fishing Grubs. Uh, we'll have a link below uh, in the description. It'll be in all of the videos that we do. Um, you know that Todd joins us in. Jennifer, again, thank you so much for allowing us to be here. Thank you for allowing us to help, and hopefully next time we'll be able to bring your grandpa home. He's ready. No. We're ready. He's ready. You better be. <laughs> he just wants us to have more adventure. Right. <laughs> he was an adventurous right? guy. Yeah, so. This was like his plan. Yeah, like, this it is what was. I'm gonna do to yeah. these. But we won't stop until until he's done. So, thank you. Thank you. Rat my baby. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You gotta get Jacob too. Well, that being said, keep diving, guys. It's not worth to stop. We're gonna be back, I promise you. Thank you. Please, uh, please don't think this is gonna be our last time here. We're gonna no, definitely be back and, uh, it's because of you guys and all your support, so thank you so much for allowing us to come try to help bring back Guy Pike. Keep diving, it's not where to stop. Love you, bye. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> bye. <laughs>